Um, but yeah, so I've been playing drums with this guy named Jason Aldean. He's very, Jason very, Aldean. very, very popular. Um, He's very good. Singer, songwriter, country rock artist. Um, and we, I met him in 1999 mm -hmm. through some mutual friends, Tully Kennedy and Kurt Allison, who I've also been playing with. Um, Three Kings. Just, we call ourselves the Three Kings. I think one night we just had too many Irish coffees and we decided to call ourselves. <laughs> what should we call our, our rhythm section? We can't call it rhythm, our rhythm section. We got to call it something. The Three Kings. Okay, and it just sticks, you know. That's great. But um, but they're you know they're great folks and God, we've been to 14 countries together and mm -hmm. and we've been to every radio station in America and played every you know dumpy honky tonk and college bar and and when you started you know, with Jason, you were you were. We were in a Basically, band down a by band. the river, you know. <laughs> yeah, from 2000 yeah, bars. Yeah, like 2000 to 2004, we literally like would jump in my. I would, you know, I always leased a minivan, and I would, you know, it was like a cheap payment, and I could take the back seats out, and you throw your drums in there, yep. and like, oh, throw the MPEG bass amp in there. Oh, don't forget my Marshall cabinet. And then we're squeezing in there, and we're playing bars all over the southeast. And um, he ended up getting signed to a record deal through the. Uh, the passionate persistence of a producer named Michael Knox, who, who mm -hmm. was the VP of Warner Chapel. And um, Michael kind of nurtured us, and we would rehearse with Jason for, you know, a hundred bucks and a catered lunch, and it was like a big deal for us, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Jason got signed, we recorded that first record in 2004, and we've been on the road ever since uh, probably March of 05. You know, yeah. And so we've opened up for everybody along the way, and then mm -hmm. in 2009 we started headlining, people started opening up for us. And so we literally played for five people and turned it into 500 and then, you know, playing cool venues like highlights for me would be like, of course, Madison Square Garden or definitely the Hollywood Bowl. You know, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a sunshine guy, you know, yeah. I, I loved that was a fun night for me. So I hope we get to do that. 